no, we are not talking about that APS system. Instead, we are talking about the 60TP and it's... Uh, massive gun <laughs> it's absolutely massive and uh yeah today's video we're just going to be covering the 60 tp but yeah let's just jump right into the video and before you're wondering yes this is going to be another review so what does the t60p have well it we're going to just talk about the stats first and then uh yeah so it has a very good it has very good armor, very good armor. The turret armor cannot be penned at all, apart from that little cupola. So the 60 TP is, in my opinion, overpowered, hold down, but you can deal with it. It's not like a Type 71 where you don't stand a chance. You actually can fight this thing uh, somehow. And um, it's the only tank here that has the 600 alpha damage, I'm pretty sure. And it does, it does have the tungsten shells as well. For your heat, you do 530, and for your HE, 680. But using tungsten, you can almost do 800 per shot. But that is not a lot, considering that um, in the E100, your HE does a lot more. So, yeah, I think that's because of balancing issues or something like that. And um, you have 7 degrees of gun depression, which is quite good. It allows you to work hold down. Not the best of gun depression, but you can still work hold down. And um, you have 20 degrees up, which is very, very good there. The top speed is 36. Playing this tank, you actually are very, very mobile. It's very stupid considering how massive the 60TP is compared to other tanks. It's 10 times bigger than the i7. It's way bigger than the IS-4, yet this tank can move just as fast, or if not faster. So it's very mobile, and I'm going to show you the armor profile now. So let's just show. Now jumping into the armor profile of the 60TP, this could actually be the best part about the tank. Now before you say the armor looks bad already, it's because it's only 120 millimeters on the upper plate. But at that angle, as you'll see, a 60 or 70 degree angle, that upper plate is probably, it is a very powerful plate. It's better than the IS-4 and um, you'll know when you go against it that on flat ground, any shell in the game, heat, APFS, uh, no, AP, <laughs> AP, I'm, I, I'm sorry guys, I got too stuck in War Thunder, but against any other shell in the game, flat ground, you can't pen that. Um, so yeah, you've got a very, very good upper plate, but you do also have a weak spot, which is your bottom plate, which is very tiny, very, I mean, so small, very, very small. And, um, yeah, I mean, your turret as well is just, as I said, the only weak spot you have is a cupola. You have little tiny, you know what? No, you don't even have cheeks. There is no turret weakness on this tank apart from the cupola. Now, the side armor is terrible. It is absolutely terrible. What I do when I'm against the 60TP is if it angles, even at the slightest of angle, just like that, just like a Chieftain Mark VI, I'm going to shoot that front track wheel and it's going to do damage. So, yeah. 60 TP players uh, cannot side scrape at all unless they want to use that back. They have to they have to side scrape correctly so they're only showing that back part there. But if they're going to show the front track wheel, you're going to be penned quite easily. So you need to be careful about that. And the rear as well is nothing impressive. It's just 101 millimeters, which can save you from some HE shells. But against Hesh, that's just simply just not going to work out. So overall, the armor profile is going to be a nine, uh, a nine, a solid eight or nine out of ten for me. So now we're just going to be using a uh, game we just I just played quite recently, and we're actually going in a, against very good players. We're going against a, um, a an AMX from the GNA clan, which is a very known clan in uh, World, World Tanks Blitz, and yeah. So the six TP, as I was saying that. I can't be able to, I won't be able to show it in this game, but when you're face hugging 1v1s, you can use that gun and you put it in, how you use that as an APS system, you have to, you have to put the gun on where they're aiming. So when they shoot, they are going to hit that gun and bounce and then they can't do anything in a 1v1. They, you, playing a 1v1 situation is amazing for the 60TP. In fact, it's amazing. Uh, it's superb. I don't know what that E100 is doing. I think he had connection issues. But yeah, <laughs> um, it sucks for him. 
but yeah as i was saying though the 60p does have that massive gun just like a grill sometimes but you will bounce a lot more you will bounce a lot more of that gun simply because how massive it is but yeah the tank alone is um it's very good it's definitely still meta with the other tanks like type 71 and all those other new tanks that wargaming has to release we get a lovely bounce on that 60p as well thank god we actually penetrated that because i actually thought i was going to bounce it and I, as you'll see here i'm getting so annoyed at that progetto just shooting from the side and my team just wouldn't kill him at all and he's because of that we've lost an e100 so there goes the e100 now he's lost all of his hit, hit, hit points and we are going to trade with that amx he puts me on a one shot but i put him on a one shot so he needs to be careful now that amx does but i need to be careful as well because i am a one shot now the 60p is probably gonna push never mind there goes the e100 and uh we're not gonna push it's too risky i i know if i peak that amx uh if I, if I peak that AMX 50B, I will die because he is a good player. He has the alpha to do so. I could actually overangle my overangle overangle my tank. Sorry, I couldn't speak there. So he can't penetrate my armor at all. Even the bottom plate, he won't be able to do anything. But it's too risky. I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to let someone peek me. And uh, yeah, 60TP comes and I amarack him. That was a very lucky shot very very lucky shot indeed i didn't expect to do that but you know it's, it's a 60 tp at the end of the day now we are going to get so unlucky here that was extremely unlucky and because of that we do die but yeah that I mean we had a good game we had done 3k damage almost we could have done more if that cron didn't really kill us but yeah i got so mad at that cron for getting uh, you know for getting so lucky but let's just jump into the second game so now we are in the second game. Now, in this replay, I couldn't show you that um, gun, the, the APS gun, unfortunately. But, um, you know, this game didn't was like similar to the other game where I just got focused and I couldn't really do anything about it. Now, looking at the map, there is a WZ to my right and there's a Yo there. And, yeah, with the accuracy on this gun, I wasn't really expecting to hit that. That's why I aimed in, just trying to get my luck and see if I could actually, just, you know, hit it for once. So, the gun on this tank, on the 60TP, for me, it's going to go for a... I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. I, I feel like 600, with the 600 alpha, it's not... It's a good alpha, it hits hard, it does hit hard. But compare that to an E100's gun, it's nothing... It, it's not better than an E100. I would take E100's gun any any of any day of the week any day of the week i'll take e100's gun so it's gonna go for the six out of ten for the mobility i'm gonna give it a five out of ten or even i can i can actually give it more higher but unfortunately <laughs> because how big it is it's also a quite a big target to kill now we do have this e e3 uh you know pushing us we couldn't really do much here we are we are going to capitalize on the fact that the T-123 can't really... It doesn't have a turret. It does not have a turret. So, as you'll see here, we're just going to try out out move him. So, we can't die. But, unfortunately for us, that WZ is going to kill us from the side. And, as I showed... As I did say, he did shoot us in the lower track wheel. Which will be expected in this game. But, yeah, I mean, I'm so sorry I couldn't highlight the um the point of video of the APS system but all you have to do is face hook put your gun in the enemy's opponent's face and it will work out but yeah guys thank you all for watching this has been the 60 TP it is a very very strong tank but it's not impossible to kill if you just you know learn about its weak spots shoot the side armor and uh yeah you should be able to uh kill this tank but yeah, guys, thank you all for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.